some people were wondering why I was this budding uh, tasks like some neighbors and friends and honestly I I think he's pulled and it's gonna show if he was pulled from the beginning because of uh, the formations he's gonna have in his head like his mom but when I took the girls over there to be disbudded um, the vet said that she wasn't sure that he was pulled and I think it's more about having no experience with goats that made her say that but I I asked her you know if he is pulled is it gonna be I mean is it gonna be bad for him and she said no no it'd be fine and this is what I'm afraid of um, you can see it right now and he's pretty traumatized by it but his this budding didn't work it got done when he was a baby and it just didn't work and I don't know if you can see because of the shade and everything of my arm but he has some blood there because they started to go inside and kind of cutting his skin and even though I've been staying on top of it I'm assuming that he was fighting with the girls or something and in one of those headbutting events he hurt himself he cut his skin and he's been pretty pretty sad about that I mean he's happy he runs around and everything but he's still a little you know traumatized by it and every time I try to clip it's bad so this weekend let me clean that he just breathed into the camera lens so this weekend I'm gonna try to clip them again because it's it's bad same thing happened to Rocky so I feel like you know it's it's hard for bugs to this but them it's a little bit more tedious than what a girl is like and um, so I didn't want to risk Taz over there having horns because I don't want goat with horns I don't have any that have horns and I'm afraid that they might hurt each other come here Taz come here love and so I opted for disbutting him even though I'm not sure he needed to be disbutted mm, if you're wondering about prices our local vet did the three of them for a hundred dollars um, so it wasn't that expensive to get them disbutted of course it's a lot cheaper if you have the tools but after what happened with this little guy who oh, is a very silly boy and he's been kind of sad lately um, I just didn't want that to happen to Taz really I didn't want it to happen to him and I don't know if it's gonna you know I, you assume that a vet would do a good job and that that's not going to happen but it's not you know it's not a guarantee that it's not going to happen to him but i i didn't want to be the reason why he you know had that problem and uh, he is a little daredevil he's so uh, he gets in a lot of trouble as it is as you can see <laughs> He does get in a lot of trouble so I don't want him to have horns and then get stuck on something and I don't know I just and I'm pretty sure he's gonna be our you know he's gonna be in charge in the back pen I can see it I mean he's not eight weeks old and he still is the boss around the boys so I just didn't want him to be maybe rough with the others either with the other boys and if he grew horns and it was too late then that means that uh, I would have to spend a lot more money look at Annabelle she's facing cookie because she's the queen 
and nobody says anything to her but me of course because I am the queen around here and they're starting to learn that now that we're milking but this little guy it's Annabel mini print like he is in charge he's the boss he is so we'll, we'll see we'll see with him what happens I also want to get a couple other girls so he can breed and I can see what he you know he produces Annabelle is little by little weaning him um, she's not as patient with him patient with him uh, she'll have him you know drink a little bit and then she'll walk away from it you know and you know even though he's very persistent she's little by little kind of weaning him so um, what I'm trying to see with him is if since his dad comes from great milking lines and you know he is such a big boy and he's so well like look he's testing his limit with cookie that she's right there and he knows it and look at animal she's like um excuse me my child there's a dog over there so um i think i want to try him and see if he can produce girls with better teeth placement uh, Annabelle has kind of um, her teeth look to the side you can't see them from here I should have gone in but I am on my way to town and I just if I go in there I never leave so I hope that what Taz produces who's right there being naughty trying to eat my umbrella um, is you know girls with better teeth placement uh, mochas are way better than Annabelle's and Annabelle produces a lot of milk so I'm not complaining you know it's it's just um, trying to improve and maybe you can see it from behind oh you can kind of see it that they're pointing outwards instead of pointing down so that's something I want to improve uh, and you you know Annabelle is the way that she is and she's going to change as she starts having more and more babies and look at Mocha she is so sweet with those girls she loves her girls and she spends so much time with them little Taz over there I mean he's getting on Annabelle's nerves already He's being loud and crying because he wants to nurse and she's not up to it. So anyways, worst placement ever and my camera is dirty, the lens I assume because it looks kind of funny. But anyways, that is what I'm thinking about horns and just making sure that they don't, that I try to do my best so they don't have them. Um, there are some people in my area that have goats with horns and they just wouldn't this but them. They don't think it's a problem. They had just a couple of goats having problem with horns and getting stuck in fences and dying. And, but you know, it's just one of those things that I am not, um, I, I really don't want to test. I don't want to try it and so with the experience that I've had with the boys, um, you know, after they were disbutted, getting those little tiny horns that kind of grow into their head or their skull, really, it just has been kind of painful to for them um, and traumatizing to the point that I have to grab them and, you know, it's it's 
overall it's it's not what I want and I feel like they're scared sometimes that I'm gonna trim their horns or that they're gonna do something that they don't want because they're either you know Duke that he's the one that he gets in trouble with the girls he's always headbutting somebody so I'm sure that he gets the most you know problems with his skin and bleeding and everything just because that's what he's doing but he should be able to do that without getting hurt and so that's why I haven't been able to kind of do it myself because I don't feel a hundred percent with the skills needed to do it and do a good job hi sweet mama <laughs> 